How to find your Facebook shop's hot niches. How's it going guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we go over everything related to Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Shops Dropshipping. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe to the channel and also turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on a single upload. If you guys are interested in getting more information on Facebook Shops and Facebook Dropshipping and everything, definitely join our subscription website, which will be linked down in the description below. You can get signed up on there. You know, we have everything from beginner marketplace all the way down to scaling up hiring out a complete team and and really just the entire process a to z from getting started on facebook to to scaling up to as far as you want to take it but in this video i wanted to go over how to actually find the hot niches that work in your facebook shop it's something that you hear from us a lot when we talk about getting these shops going find your hot products find your hot niches it's it's the the key to scaling up your shop and i really want to break down what exactly we mean by it and how we go about finding those hot niches so the first thing that we'll look to do is every single niche that we post in you don't want to just post you know somewhere from like three to five products if you're doing that those three to five might be you know the worst three to five in that niche and now you could completely miss out on a niche that actually did work from you like just to give you a quick example when we found the rugs that worked really well for us it was a black fluffy rug that worked really really well and the red one worked pretty well as well but let's say we posted a blue one and then a purple one and then a you know a teal one and let's say we just stopped at that we posted those three and and just stop there we never would have found the red one the black one then then that led us down to outdoor patio rugs and it led us to bathroom mats that sold really hot for us kitchen mats and things like that and we never would have found all those products if we only tested a few products in that niche so I definitely would say try to post at least 10 to 15 products per niche now you know obviously you can't be posting like 50 products per niche it'll take you so long to find that niche that works for you if you're trying to do that so I would be trying to, to you know test about two to three different niches a day anywhere from 10 to 15 products in each you now if you're posting 30 products a day 10 products in each or you could do you know 15 products in each and just do two niches and then also as you're doing this and when you go through and you test these niches you know i'd say go through about a week and, and don't look at anything and just post in those niches and then you want to actually reflect back go look in the insights and look at what's doing well if you're on a marketplace just scroll down you're gonna have to check you know what's getting the most views but if you're on a shop you can just go to the insights and you can just look what's getting the most views and see if those correlate if you're seeing a niche that's getting the most sales the most views now you know something you can stick around and that's really just the way that you're going to continue scaling up and never never just post in one niche or certain niches and stay there like let's say again i'll use the rugs as an example we always use it but let's say the rugs really work for you don't only post rugs you want to post now you know 15 rugs every single day but the other 15 posts if you're doing 30 posts a day should be uh, testing new niches that are coming in you know maybe you do you maybe you up that your listing a little bit to do 10 and 10 do 20 more listings so that you can go test two different niches after that so you want to always continuously test and you don't want to just stay at you know one one niche because at the end of the day let's say you you sold rugs really well those eventually will run out and you'll post almost every you know rug that you can so it, it might take a little while you know it might last you three four or five months but eventually still that is going to come to an end so you always want to be testing to get the next thing in there so you can you know be selling rugs really well post similar products to that post those you know those kitchen mats bathroom mats different color rugs shape sizes whatever it is but also testing to get that next niche into there and then maybe you find out it's car parts and now you're selling both car parts and rugs but still even when you're there don't only stay in those niches test and find that next niche so it's always that you know constant cycle of posting what works but also testing new niches and you definitely want to be you know get very familiar with insights you definitely want to spend a lot of time in there that's how you're ultimately going to scale up your shop is just seeing what products are are similar to each other that are performing well you know if you have you know in your top 10 most viewed products four of them are rugs now obviously you have a trend towards the rugs it doesn't have to obviously be just rugs this is for any product that you see you know if you're seeing a correlation with the type of product that's going up and the amount of views it's getting you're going to want to continue to list similar and maybe you know it's it's different sub niches off of that that actually perform really well but it's anything that can that can lead you there so this is something that you know it's not just going to happen overnight this is why we say you know testing can take a little while this can take you a month two months to actually go out and find you know the niches that are working for you but like i said you just get closer and closer as you check those insights see what's getting the most views 
you know, post similar, maybe sub niches down off of those also get and keep testing new niches and you'll eventually find those niches that work for you. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.